well, please excuse my jumble mess. I just got done filming here. But this video, we're going to talk about uh, three surf fishing rigs um, that you can use on the surf, of course, here and bank all great saltwater fishing rigs whatever side of the country you're on cool thing about these rigs is um all, it's all hook line and sinker minimal terminal tackle uh maybe one rig has some terminal tackle or geese uh blackfish uh anything out there these are uh, three surfish from rigs are universal you can use for any fish um and we're just going to go briefly through not in this particular order but we're going to have the high low rig we're going to talk about we're going to talk about which one is this Ooh, kind of a mess here we're going to talk about the three ray rig and these are all easy to tie rigs and very easy to tie three major rigs and finally uh, we're going to talk about the high low rig so these are three surf fishing rigs bank pier saltwater fishing rigs that i use this is just an overhand knot we're going to tie and this is I'm going to show you this this is going to be used in all your rigs the other knots that you're going to need you can look up use whatever you want and this could what we're tying here can be replaced with a regular dropper but what we're going to do is for this knot is we're going to make a big loop we're going to make a loop and it's just an overhand knot as you can see except we're just going to go through one two three times so just and pull moisten moisten your knots i don't think i did that through the video and just pull tight and that is a neat knot all right we're going to start with the three ray rig here just hook line and uh, and sinker real simple tie so let's get to it so the first rig i'm going to show you i use um a lot and especially if i'm using monofilament line uh, right up to my reel that I'm using so my reel is filled my reel will be filled this one's not with the monofilament line and that is my leader so I can retie and retie as it breaks off or change or whatever and, and it just works kind of quick and this is the three-way um, surf pier bank rig um, just a three-way rig and Again, this monofilament line would be going probably, I was using 20 pound. You can see a lot of my videos that I've been doing. We're gonna use the knot that I showed you. That's the only knot you're really gonna to need to tie these rigs, uh, one other. But um, this one, it's very easy. And we're gonna start, it's a hook line sinker rig. And all it is, is what you're gonna do is take a good length of line and your sinker is gonna be going on, of course, the far or tag end of your line so you want to make that loop and if you want to make that one foot off the bottom and I like to work these mostly off the bottom so I'm thinking one foot so I'm gonna go up one foot if you want to work two feet up go up two feet from so to so however high you want it and then at that point I am going to make my loop that I showed you so it's just a overhand knot and you're just going to go one overhand knot except you're going to go one two and three and that's the knot it's just an overhand knot except you're going to go through three times you can go through four times five times whatever you want but i found three is plenty sometimes i'll go through four i'm going to pull that tight tight as you want bring that in and I found if you pull the ends it squares it out and all I'm gonna do now oh I could find my clippers got a big pair of clippers today is I am gonna clip that loop and that top part that's where your hooks gonna go down here we got to do another knot and that is where our sinker is going to go we got our hook sinker so again and the sinker what i like to do is i do one overhand knot just like such just an overhand knot that's all you need so if that sinker hangs up you can clip that tag in if you want maybe we'll clip it 
And again, I am tying this here rig. When I'm working with monofilament line right up to my reel. So I can tie these rigs. I'm not using braided line is what I'm saying when I tie these. And I'm gonna, just going to drop my sinker on. And that's big. That's 50 pound mono. So you're going to drop your sinker on. And now we're ready for our hook. And your hook's going to go on the tag end. And I'm going to smell this on. You can see this is a bent eye hook. And the bent eye hooks I like to smell. If you got a straight eye, let me show you here. This is your straight eye hook. And you're going to look up this whatever knot you like to tie your hook on. This is about the rigs mostly and that one major knot to make the rigs. But you're gonna, I usually will do a clinch knot. You can do a, a, a whatever knot you like. I like a clinch knot on a straight eye. But the bent eye hooks and circle hooks, uh, straight circle hooks, I like the smell. So I'm just going to smell my hook and we'll be done with this rig in no time. And you can look up how to smell a hook. And this is how I do it. And we will do a video about that. And that's a nice thick, thick monofilament line. So I'm just going to go three times. Secret is, you want to hold that knot when you smell. And you put that in your teeth. Get a little tight. And pull it up and you got a perfect smell knot. Now I'm just going to uh, clip the tag end here. And we are done with the three-way surf rig. I'll get the whole thing in here. That's a good one. That is a good one. You can see we have our, here's our main line going up to our reel. Here's our sinker. And to that, let me just get that a little tighter. We have our our line and that's just a three-way so there you have it there's our three-way surf rig uh line here in the corner that's going up to my reel i like to use this like i said when i'm using monofilament as my main line and my main line is my leader and i love this rig because i can just do that quick double over triple overhand knot surge and knot whatever you want to call it um loop on the bottom uh, snell or tie your hook on top and you're fishing bait up and you're ready to go It doesn't get more simpler than that the fish finder rig and uh, we're going to talk about this a little extra hardware on there You're going to need hook line sinker a little extra terminal tassel. One I use a lot with a clicker. So we're going to start. This is the fish finder rig Three surf fishing rigs that I like to use and this is probably my number one rig that I use on the surf and these can be used on pier, surf, whatever you want. But this is on the surf, surf, beach. Uh, this is going to be my number one rig is the fish finder rig. It's called a fish finder rig because um, we're going to be using a fish finder. So you're going to need a little bit of hardware. Of course, you got your hook, line, and sinker. But uh, this one does require a, a swivel and a, a fish finder. Actually, the swivel is optional. Um, but we're not going to get into that. Uh, the bead is optional. I do like the beads. Uh, your fish finder. And that's why it's called the fish finder rig. And what that will do is I'll show the rig and I'll show you. It has some free play. And so line feeds out and it's, fish can pick up that bait and kind of run with it. It actually works great with circle hooks. But I'm using 50 pound monofilament leader. And uh, that's what I like to use for bluefish anyway. So, all right, we're going to tie up the fish finder rig. All right, so here's my fishing reel. And I like to fish this with braid. My, I have my braided. This is my lane line. This is my fishing reel. This is braided line. And you can see, I have a video. We'll start a surf fishing. I, I use this reel. It's a, this reel's in a few of my videos. This is my reel from when I was a kid. And it uh, works great. But, um... Uh, I love this with a braided line. So this is your main line coming right from the reel. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is get your 
your fish finder and you're going to put that fish finder on your main line going to your reel that's the fish finder and you can see what that fish finder does that line's going to come out and feed out the fish is going to pick it up and not feel nothing so that is the first thing you're going to want to do with this here rig the second thing and this is the bead and the bead is optional um it's up to you if you want to fish with a bead or not the bead will kind of protect your knot and your line from hitting your reel and you just want to slide that through get that through your bead there so you're going to have your fish finder again you're going to have your fish finder and that bead is optional but what that bead's going to do is it's going to prevent that fish finder from cramming and jamming into the next part is we're going to attach a barrel swivel to our main line but the next step is you're going to take your barrel swivel and a barrel swivel is going to kind of put a little pause on your fish finder and I like to do I go through the the hole there twice with the braided line and you're gonna I like to tie a this is a uni knot but you can tie any knot that you like with that you feel comfortable with um, keep in mind this is braided line so braided does slip on the knots that's why I did that double that double loop through because it prevents that braid from going down on that knot and you're going to clip that tag in I'll find my clippers over here and uh, if I'm in a rush I'll just leave that clip that tag in tie that hook on to save us a moment so what you're going to do is you're going to take a hook on your 50 pound leader we were talking about leader is just the, the main thing when you're tying these here surf rigs pier rigs bank ribs rigs boat rigs and actually here I have this is the actual length I would probably use that I like and that's probably that's got to be about two and a half feet um, so I'll generally go two two and a half feet it's just amazing some days they'll hit it short you want a short leader other days they like it long kind of waves in the current but that's all up to you this is just about tying the rigs but i'll start with two and a half is quite ideal this is 50 pound and this is what i'll use for a bunker now i'm going to cut this short i'm only going to go one feet so i can get that more of that rig into the camera and keep in mind the shorter that leader is to your hook the better this rig is going to cast so well when you get into the over three foot range four foot range it's going to start to get oblong but this, I just like to tie a clinch knot. You can look up these knots if you're not familiar with them. But use your favorite knot. And this is actually, like I said, what I'll use for bluefish. So I'm going to tie my hook on my leader. I'm going to use a clinch knot. And, well, this technically... I'm just going to tie this improved. You want to go through there one more time. I was going to do it regular, just so it'll tie easy. This is good stiff line. So hold on. You want to moisten that knot to tighten it. Bind it down good. Pull it. And we're going to clip the tag in. Now I'm just kind of like slipping these knots through. I'll definitely always tie them better on a, in a real situation. Make sure you tie your knots good. Um, I'm just showing you quickly. And we are done. Oh, one last thing. The fish finder rig is we're gonna have to put our sinker on we got a hook line sinker a little bit of extra terminal hardware with this one that's a great rig and this rig will catch uh anything on the surf anything um bluefish striped bass fluke shark uh, rays uh, anything out there you can catch blackfish with it porgies i'm at the uh, winding on the bottom but is my probably number one used rig in most of my videos and uh, you can check that out that's the fish finder rig
The last rig we're going to tie here is the high low rig. And I used big hooks just so you can see what's going on. Um, big line, big sinkers, just so you get a better picture. So this is the high low uh, surf fishing rig. It's great for the surf, it's great for piers, and it's also great for the banks. Nice salt water fishing rig. And I do love to use this more so um, when I'm working with monofilament right to my reel. And this is my Penn Sea Boy. And I was, I've was i been using this reel, use this reel often this year, and I'm looking forward to using it uh, the upcoming year as well. Um, but I like this high low rig. Um, you can tie them and tie them to your main line if you want, with a, like we did with the fish finder, or I prefer them best. This is 20 pound monofilament, and I just tie them as I go. I'm using bigger stuff for this, um, and we'll talk about that. But I, I like to use, say, smaller hooks. I'm fishing for a fluke, I'll use a 2 0 to 4 0 hook. If I'm looking for uh, corgi, sea bass, those puppers, and I'll use those tiny, tiny hooks. I'm going to use my favorite mustad 12-0 um, hooks and sinker. So this is a hook, line, and sinker rig, the high-low rig, and uh, let's get to it. So we're going to get tie in this high-low rig, and we're going to use the same knot that I showed you, that one knot, the, the triple overhand knot or the uh, surgeon knot and high-low rig. But the neat thing about this is what I start to do is I'll tie my hooks on first. So... I'm going to go down two, three feet, and all we're going to do is, I don't, this is going to be a shorter length, and keep in mind, when you tie your surgeon loops, I like this, this is real quick and easy to tie, keep in mind when you tie them, it's going to shorten up, so kind of guess, as you tie a few, you kind of get an idea, different lengths of fishing line, you're going to uh, need a little more. But after you go through a few times, you'll see if you need more or less line. I'm going to need a little more, I think, especially with these hooks. So you make your loop. And as like I said, I started about three feet up. So I'm going to make my loop. And we're going to do our triple overhand knot. One. So easy. Too easy. Two. Three. If you got it, came out of here. And this knot I love to tie my my teasers with too that'll tighten up on its own there's no big real worry about what it's going to do you want to tighten you can pull and then i like to sometimes you can pull those tag ends apart but you see what we got here we have a loop and i have these here circle hooks and i picked the circle hooks for a reason is because they this is actually be good for blackfish uh especially if you're working with circle hooks so just imagine that uh, I generally, this is actually what a long liner does, um, and these are the hooks the long liners use. But I'm just going to, you want that, if you're using a circle hook, then you can use regular bait hooks, but I put on, brought out these here circles for a reason. You want to make sure you go through that loop just like that, okay? And you see you get the full effect of the circle when you go through the loop like that. So you want to use a straight eye with a circle. And actually I'll drop those hooks on after I'm done tying. So what you wanna do now is you wanna determine how high up you wanna go from that first hook. Always go and make your next hook up so those two hooks never hit each other, okay? So if your hook is gonna be yay long, um, you don't want the, your top hook swinging down on that bottom hook. So go at least as far up as need be and generally i'll go anywhere between one and a half to two feet i'm gonna take it a bit shorter um and i'm gonna tie the next hook in and there's a reason they call this a high low like i said a high low rig is because those hooks and make sure that your top hook doesn't bang into that bottom hook okay and we're just gonna do the same thing with our high hook that was our low hook i'm gonna make this guy a little smaller but most people make them the same size and you're gonna go through three times one two you notice you can most people also bring them in a little shorter oh we got stuck there three easy peasy right pull that tight and take our hook and again 
with the circle hooks you want to go with the circle hooks you want to go on the inside of that circle so that angle forms otherwise that angle is going to be on the outside and you're not going to have the full effect of your inline circle hook and that's it so we have our our high low rig and you see what I mean you don't want that top hook and that bottom hook intersecting with each other okay you want that that top hook to, to, to steer clear of that bottom hook otherwise it'll tangle and actually this 50 pound is working great with those now we're gonna finish this rig like I said I leave a little extra end over there and how low do you want that to go um, I'm gonna I'm gonna you want to keep it we'll start at least the length of the the, the, the first one it's a fairly long one. I generally will run them shorter like the top one. But you get the idea, and that's the point. Then we're just going to do our overhand knot. See, we didn't even clip nothing. It's only one clip, and you don't even have to clip that part. You don't even need a clipper to tie this if you're working with monofilament from the reel. But we're going to clip it anyway. Make sure you tie your knots tight. Always make sure you tie them tight. I'm just doing things quick here, showing you how these things are working. And we're going to drop our sinker on. Just like so. And we're done with our three easy surf pier bank fishing rigs, saltwater fishing rigs. And of course you can use these here in freshwater too.